Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, Hawaii Today. It is Wednesday, October 10th, 2018. All right, well, I am sure that you're not surprised about what you're seeing if you're watching the bond market yet again. Look, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ are all lower here. Not by any monumental amount, but lower nonetheless. And why? Because the bond market is selling off. Now, the sell-off in bonds right now is nothing dramatic yet. However, the 10-year yield is being nudged higher. The dollar is about at the flat line to actually slightly negative. And despite the dollar being slightly negative, uh, I'm going to give you one guess what's happening to gold and silver. They are down. Cryptocurrencies are also down. Um, I believe what we are seeing here in the markets is kind of a confidence issue. And some of this, some of this is, is playing off of what our president said yesterday. And I kind of went off the deep end in a video that I did yesterday. Let's recap a little bit of what's going on, and I want to put a perspective on something for you again. And no matter how many times I say this, some people that are, are two-dimensional thinkers are never going to understand this, but I want to put a perspective on it. It's very important. So yesterday we understand that, and, and this is not just yesterday, This several months ago, uh, our president said that he didn't want the Federal Reserve to raise rates. Now, we've been hearing, both you and I, for years, that if rates rise for the right reasons, for example, a strong economy, this is what we're being told, then stocks would respond in a positive way and also go up. Now, I've been explaining to you for years and years before that, that that would not happen. It's just so easy to understand the dynamic, but you, and, they, and me too, they've been trying to mislead us, the propaganda is off the Richter scale. There is no way this is going to happen. And this, this economic boom that we're in is being grossly exaggerated uh, all over the world. I mean, world leaders right now, and I, I've stressed this to you, every single world leader, including President Trump, is in bed with their central bank, in bed with their central bank. Every single world leader around the world is doing the same thing. Um, and that's you know that brings me to another thing. Look, there are a lot of very well-meaning uh, YouTube blogs and websites that are trying to convince you. Again, this is for the two-dimensional thinkers out here that somehow our president is going to end the Federal Reserve. It's not going to happen. Mark my words right here. I want to go on public record again because I've said this before. It is not going to happen. We have fought wars to establish the petrol dollar and the, the fiat monetary system. We are no, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to. Uh, so just understand that in every single day that the world central banks, including our Federal Reserve, is allowed to keep producing more of their product, which is debt, they get stronger, not weaker. The only way, the only way, and it's not going to happen, I'm just going to put it out there as a hypothetical, uh, to get rid of the central banks would be, allowed, would be, first of all, for all of the environment we are in, to reach a fair value, to stop the borrowing, <clears throat> stop running debts and deficits into the stratosphere. This is what our president promised he would do as a candidate. He has done the polar opposite of that. And why? Who is benefiting from the environment we are in right now? Corporate America, corporate CEOs more specifically who get paid in stock have gotten richer in a shorter period of time than ever in history. The banks have also gotten much stronger. The military industrial complex has gotten much stronger. The middle class, no doubt about it, has watched their home values increase and their stock portfolios gain value. So it would seem 
and everyone's gaining here, but no. Why? The middle class throughout history, since time immemorial, is never allowed to keep their wealth. It's just a wealth transfer effect that is set up by our politicians who are in bed with the central banks. You understand? It's the middle class, and you know this, has been, has been decimated uh, almost since, again, time immemorial. You know, they, they, they get used as a pawn in a terrible game to inflate the stock market, inflate stock, uh, excuse me, housing values, and all of a sudden, bam, it all gets taken away and transferred. That's what's going to happen here again. Um, and another thing with regard to the Federal Reserve ending, do you believe the Federal Reserve is the only world central bank? It's not going to happen anyway. Uh, every single world central bank, and there are like hundreds of them, uh, they're all owned by the same private banks. They run the entire show. The president and everything else, this is just a side act. Uh, you know, th that's put in front of the people to let them believe that maybe we have some kind of leadership. And they always play into the banks. They always play into the corporations. That was this all is. Yesterday, when I was sitting there in my nice black suit, I alluded to the fact that there is something much darker underneath this. And that's what it is. Look, you can call this what you want. There is going to be a correction to fair value in this market. Some people are referring to it as a reset, a crash, a meltdown. If and when this happens, and I sincerely believe it's going to, the middle class is going to lose. No matter how you want to look at it, the middle class is going to be decimated beyond, beyond, beyond. It's the truth. Um, so again, people... Mo Many people, not everyone, are two-dimensional thinkers. They think black and white, good and bad. There is a wide gap in between those poles that it seems that, again, a lot of people are forgetting about. Uh, and they're also believing once again that our politicians or even one guy has our interest in mind. That's not true. That is absolutely false. And again, when all of this corrects to fair value, the CEOs of these corporations who have been enriched more in the last two years than they have ever been in history are going to remain that way. Uh, and again, the banks are going to consolidate power. That's what always happens. The central bank will remain at the pinnacle top. Now, again, you're going to say, oh, no, this is not going to happen. I guarantee you it will. And even if, in, in the most remote sense, the Federal Reserve would have somehow disappear, what about all the other world central banks? Are they going to disappear, too? Look, un again, there are a lot of well-meaning people out here uh, on YouTube and everywhere else, but I don't believe they have an understanding of the system the way that I do. I understand this like you cannot believe because I study it every single day of my life for years. This is what I do for a living. I understand where money goes, how it works, how it's created, how it's lost. That's it. Um, and I believe that most of you out here who are not two-dimensional thinkers um, understand what I'm talking about. But I'm just literally trying to get through to some out there and it won't work. Again, you're going to see comments on this blog here um, that are contrary to anything that makes a logical sense. And these are the two-dimensional thinkers, unfortunately, and that's the way it is. And I'm not putting these people down. I just think that they need to open up their mind and think outside the box. You understand? Anyway, with that said, let's watch this crazy market today. It's, again, all about the bond market, all about the dollar, and it's about confidence here. Like I alluded to earlier, when our president came out yesterday and is explaining that he thinks the Federal Reserve should back off, in other words, keep, keep the easy money going. Now he owns this, you understand? He owns it. Uh, we got to correct this. We can't have the easy money going here. We need to normalize. The market needs to burn some off. And if, if, if we're allowed to do this in a controlled fashion, maybe we could 
sidestep some of the destruction that this is going to leave in its wake when we reset, correct to fair value, crash, meltdown, pick a word. Um, that's the truth. But if our president sits here and in any way pressures the Federal Reserve to not normalize, he's just inflating bubbles worse than they are now. And who's going to get hurt by this? The middle class. That's who's going to get hurt by this. It's a setup. It is a set up, and it's always the same. The middle class gets slaughtered while the other people get richer on the other side, the one percenters, for which Trump is, is one of them. There's no doubt about it. That he is a one percenter. Anyway, that's it. Let's see how much hate uh, email I get out of this and, and idiotic comments at the same time. But just think about the concepts I've spoken about. It's the truth. You'll have a better idea as to what is really going on. But again, some people, no matter what you do, you could, you could tell them that water is wet and they won't believe it. Tell them the sky is blue, they won't believe it. And that's just the way it is. <laughs> I'll see you later.